So hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also support my small business at latricelimited.com. So today we're actually just gonna be talking about, it was this um, guy who, mis he made a mistake y'all, okay? He made a mistake that did help some people out, but he did make a mistake in numbering, putting the price tag on certain gas, okay? and it's very upsetting the dude got fired by the way okay so this is not like i'm like oh ha, 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 look at you look at i'm not doing any of that okay but it is upsetting but i am kind of happy for the people who got the gas for 69 cent okay uh so i got this article here and you know i'm gonna read it and give my opinions as we go so the article says gas station manager fired for mistakenly setting gas to 69 cents per gallon god dang it it said the manager of a northern california gas station was fired after he accidentally set the gas to 69 cents per gallon i don't know where y'all at but the other day i tried to get some gas or whatnot it was like four dollars and 27 cent no that was last week it was four dollars 27 cent then it was a couple days ago a few days ago it was 440 something. I'm like, dang, y'all. I look today. That gas, y'all, is four. Every week is going up 20 cents, like 460 something now. And then at cer certain ones, depending on what part of the city you win, you know, it was like 470 something. I'm like, y'all tripping. I remember I passed by one and the gas said that it was, um, this was for diesel. It said eight nine nine. I'm like, who paying that? Who paying eight nine nine? It was so weird because this one was eight nine nine, but this one was like six nine nine. I'm like, why would anyone go over there? But it is what it is. So a guy named John, he served as a manager for a Shell gas station in Rancho uh, Cordova. Said he mistakenly put the decimal spot in the wrong place, y'all. This gas, he put it at 69 cents. This gas in California, Northern California, they're charging $6.99 for it. Y'all, are you kidding me? $6.99? You know, so I when, I when I read that, I'm like, Man, I wish I was over there. I got some, got some 69 cent gas. I would have told all my people, hey, get over here. You know what I mean? Um, so it's very upsetting because he later got fired for that. And the the person who owned the place, you know, owned that um, gas station in particular, they were like, well, you just cost me $16,000 worth of gas sales. Now, let me be real. These gas companies, y'all, have been gouging this is false inflation they're just putting these gas prices up just because they can instead of making i don't know give me a number 80 billion dollars in profit profit they want to make 300 400 500 billion dollars y'all still making money and you can't help people out you can't just put the gas back down to you know, I'm not even asking for a dollar fifty. I'm asking for like two eighty. You can't just put it down to two eighty, two fifty, two sixty. Y'all want to put it up to six ninety nine, and then people when they see that, they they probably like, jing, jing. what does that say? Oh man, and drove over there. Oh, I gotta get some gas. I gotta get some gas. So this dude, after he got fired, he's like, man, sixteen thousand dollars. Woo what am i gonna do what am i gonna do they fired me now i'm unemployed what's gonna happen so apparently the dude john he wanted to set up a go fund me okay he was like i'm gonna set up a go fund me so that not so that you can help me out because you feel sorry for my story because i got fired for accidentally, you know, putting it at 69 cents versus $6.99, $6.99. I put it at the wrong price. So not because you feel sorry for me or you feel bad for my situation. I need a GoFundMe so that you guys could put money into this GoFundMe, donate 
So this money could then go to the owner of the shell company. What? You want people to pay your debts? That's like some Amber Heard stuff, y'all. Who, and I know y'all heard about her. Uh, set up a GoFundMe so that she could pay Johnny Depp the money that she owes because she ain't got none, apparently. Apparently you ain't got none, but you've been paying like fucking, think, excuse my language. <laughs> I think she was paying like 2400 no, I think it was 24000 It was some crazy number a month. But then she said, oh, I ain't got no money. Uh, I don't have any money. So you want me to pay for this person's debt? Oh, no, 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 no. And I was reading some comments and a lot of people were like, nah, I'm not, I'm not paying some billionaire's debt. Now, people may say, well, the owner of the gas station may not be a billionaire. Them owners of gas stations be making some good money, though. They do be making some good money, okay? They're not making minimum wage, you know? And you're gonna ask people to donate to make it up to $16,000 so you could recoup. Oh, no. That, that's gonna be a business <laughs> a business loss. That's what that's gonna be, you know? I was just like, bruh. You know, I'm very, on, on one side, I'm fortunate you lost your job. But on the other side, I was just like, mm, I'm kinda, kinda happy that these people got this this is just one way to kind of stick it to them because there's no reason why you have to have it at six dollars and 99 cents really meanwhile people are not getting paid more at their jobs y'all we still don't have a 15 dollar minimum wage y'all we still do not have universal basic income y'all we still do not have medicare for all y'all I go to the grocery store, get some lettuce. It's now 50 cents cheaper. Bread is like double the price. Chicken, oh my goodness. And we're doing all of this. Meanwhile, you're like, but you, I mean, it's inflation, y'all. y'all. Meanwhile, what was it? What's the number? I think the number was since the pandemic and all that has happened in the US, I think the number is 700 new billionaires rose up out of, out of where? price gouging false inflation that they like to claim because oh well everything went up and that's why you now have to pay a whole bunch of money for your rent and your mortgage and you know we need this and we need I, I, our hands are tied oh, let me go back to my million dollar house and not care about you guys at all and that's what's happening and people just keep they're just like yeah i mean it happens this is what it's going to be like I, I mean i can't help it guys it's, no y'all it doesn't have to be like this and this is why i say i don't really feel that bad you know because if i could save you know a whole bunch of money i mean if i could pay literally 69 cents as opposed to seven bucks i'll pay the 69 cents so i don't feel bad for the company at all i mean it's unfortunately unfortunate you lost your job but it was an error a huge error on your part anyways so i mean it is what it is at the end of the day um but i you know just thinking about all of this it's like people are out here struggling y'all people are seriously out here struggling just trying to make it and it's it's only going to get worse it's only going to get worse because sooner or later you know the u.s they don't care about anybody they they're doing what it is that they're doing not taking care of anyone just being like well i mean <laughs> that's on you you want this insulin that costs you know 12 times as much versus you going and doing some medical tourism look it up y'all if y'all don't know what that is it's a thing and you know if you need to get some work done go ahead and do it you know what i mean um so i mean you have people who just these people that you elect or whatever and they just don't care you know and it's like well why 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 are you even here you don't care about me you don't know any any of the issues that i face because you're not a regular person like me you're at some elite millionaire multi-millionaire billionaire club you don't care about me i you don't even know how much is a gallon of gas you you don't know how much is a carton of milk uh, I, uh, 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 I don't know uh, cause you don't know how much is it to uh, give birth in America have a healthy baby you give birth how much is it 
uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And mind you, in a lot of other countries, very similar to ours, G G7 nations, for example, it's zero. I remember I was reading a whole bunch of things. People saying, yeah, I pay for parking. And that was it. Said because that's what our taxes go towards. What do, what do our taxes go towards? Holes in the road? Potholes in the road? You got construction all up and down. Oh, goodness, y'all. In my hotel, we had this one street. There was always, it was construction no matter what. No matter what time of the year, it was construction all the time. And it was just years of just construction. And I could go and ask my grandma today, is there construction on this road? And she'd be like, yeah, it is. And it's just been like that. What are we paying for? You're paying for subpar, uh, you know, transportation, unreliable transportation, broken down, dirty transportation. You know what you're paying? They got bullet trains. If you haven't seen a bullet train video, I'm going to show a, a picture of it right here. These things are hype. They got some cool stuff in them, yo. It's really cool. I really would like to try one of these out, okay? And they're, these things, they're not going to 45 miles per hour. These things are over 100, I think it's like 175 miles per hour. It's just, shoo, and it's quick. It's clean. You know, in Japan, they do everything differently though, okay? Their stuff is like, if you think your stuff is here, their stuff is all the way up here. Like they take everything up a notch over there where you're like, oh, okay. You know, so at the end of the day, like what we're having here, we're having just subpar BS. You know, the transportation sucks. The, 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 um, the industrial stuff sucks. Your buildings suck. You know, even building homes, unless you got like a, I don't know, seven hundred thousand dollar home. Building materials are cheap. They just want to whip it up and boom, slap it together and go to the next one. And that's what we have. We have crappy government. I wouldn't be surprised if the, I don't want it to. I don't want the U.S. to fall you know how many people would be out of luck you know how many people would be on the street possibly dead how much contra a catastrophe we would have here I don't want it to fall I was just watching a video today and I was like it's gonna have to that's the only way I could see any real change ever happening in the US unfortunately for it to fall because the way that we are doing everything I mean <laughs> the, with the pandemic we're in another recession and there's no reason for it at all we're the richest country in the entire world we spend the most money out of every country on military yet once our vets come back you're like yeah uh, thanks for that um, the door's over there and then you, you don't care you don't care about anybody yeah, we want you all to have a whole bunch of babies so that you guys could be in a whole bunch of debt because I know that you're going to do anything to support these kids. But, uh, you know, I'm not helping you. That's 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 a you problem, okay? <laughs> I know what they thought. And that's what's going on. And I'm just so sick of it, you know? So, yeah, I'm happy these people got the 69 cent in gas. I'm so happy that they got that because I am so freaking done I, i'm done i'm irritated with all the greed you're already a multi-billionaire how many more billions do you need you're already a multi-million and when i say multi-million i'm not talking about just two mils okay i'm talking about you're 10 mil and up you're in the 50 range you're in the 100 range you're in the 20 range how much more do you need you really can't help anyone out and the thing about it that gets me because you'll have a lot of people that's like, well, Alex, it's simple. It's their money. And I mean, you can't really help them out because I mean, it's, it's your money. You know, you don't have to help anyone. Well, think about it. Let's take Beyonce, for example. Okay. So if Beyonce, if no one ever listened to her when she was in Destiny's Child or when she went her solo career or anything like that, no one ever listened to her. No one. 
Now you may say, oh, commercials, whatever, fine. But no one bought her stuff. The only money she made was doing ads for Pepsi. Do you think she would be where she's at financially? Same with Jay-Z, same with any other uh, a star. Go with athletes as well. Do you think any of them would be where they are right now if no one supported them? No. Look at your politicians. If no one voted for these people, and let's say you just voted because you someone has to be in the office, obviously. So let's say you just voted for, you know, who shot John over there or whatever, right? So you just voted for that person, but you didn't vote for these other people. Obviously, they're corrupt, so that, you know, they're going to do whatever they can in those scenarios. So that's why I'm talking about more so of like musicians, you know, uh, um, actors and different artists, stuff like that. If no one ever supported you, where would you be? You would be nowhere. You wouldn't have any money. You have to go and work for some other company because no one supports you. So that being said, you need other people's help in order for you to grow. So the people that helped you grow, why don't you help them out at all? Oh, well, it's my money. But all these people helped you get your money, right? You want to be popular, want to be famous. I don't care if you have Sam Smith's voice. If no one listened to him. And no one raved about him. No one went to his concert. No one bought his music. No one listened to his music. And everyone was like, we're going to boycott Sam Smith. I don't care how great of a voice you have. You ain't going to go anywhere. Those America Idol shows, we ain't watching them. We ain't watching any of y'all stuff. For anything, we, we turn off TVs. We ain't watching anything. People, will, they will lose their mind. Like, I, uh, I need money. I, I, uh, uh, uh. But now you have your money. Now you're like, I'm not helping anybody else. You're a multimillionaire. I'm not, I don't care. I'm not helping y'all. Multi-billionaire, that's a y'all problem, not a me problem. This is the problem that we have. Um, but I'm off my little rant. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and whatnot. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until then.